Hey guys, have you been considering upgrading your Ender 3 Pro removable magnetic bed to something a little bit more durable for high temp, like the Creality PEI sheet that's spring steel? I'll tell you what, we're going to test and see how it works right after this. guys let's open up this box and uh, see what we got it's packaged very well to keep it from damaging got some nice bubble wrap here and inside of the bubble wrap is our Creality PEI sheet spring steel let me move this out of the way so this PEI sheet does have a protective film on it that needs to be removed before you print with it you want to make sure this is off this is just to protect the PEI sheet it does come with a magnet as well you can replace the bed on your magnet or the magnet on your bed with this if you choose to. Um, however, this will work just fine with the stock magnetic bed that's on your Ender 3 Pro. If you do have an Ender 3 and it does not have the magnetic bed, then you can peel off your old bed and use this magnet. This magnet is thicker than the one that comes on the Ender 3 Pro, but I think everything will work just fine. It's a nice piece of flexible steel should uh, pop prints off very nicely um, one thing you do want to do before you use this before every print is you want to wipe this off with some isopropanol alcohol because the oils from your skin will get on this and it will keep your first layer from sticking this PEI sheet uh, stainless spring bed is good for ABS, PLA, PLA plus. Should be just fine with all of your exotics, nylon, carbon fiber. So I'll tell you what guys, we're going to go ahead and take this and we're going to get it installed on the printer and uh, we're going to reset up our Z-axis and we're going to see how it prints. Okay guys, so here's a peek of this uh, Creality PEI spring seal sheet in action. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and at risk my own print. With I did not clean this with alcohol. I just threw it on my printer and I'm running a little test file right now. And uh, that's stuck. There's no brim, uh, no bed adhesion. I didn't put anything on it. No glue stick, no hairspray. And as you can tell, I mean, it is it's sticking extremely well. So. We'll come back when uh, this is finished, this test piece. Hopefully it finishes okay, and we'll do a test and see how easy it pops off. Okay, guys, so my test print is done. Let's go ahead and see how easy it pops off of this PEI spring stick. Well, look at that. It didn't even pop it loose. Now, I did wait till this cooled um, before removing it, but as you can see, all I did was really pick it up, and it came loose. So, all in all, I'm pretty happy with this spring seal sheet so far from Creality. The PEI works really well for adhering with uh, PLA. So, this was stuck at 60 degrees C, and it seemed to have no issues sticking uh, and or peeling off, as you can see. So, I did notice my bed took a little bit longer to heat up using this versus the uh, stock Ender mat this mat works really well you know I have no complaints with this mat so far just except for the fact that you cannot print ABS on it the temperatures will just be too high I mean this is thin flexible plastic more or less um, I did not change my bed sticker uh, this is still the stock sticker that came with 
came installed on my ender for the stock uh, removable bed. So all I did was peel this off and take this and place it on there. And I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's got a pretty solid snap. Grabs hold pretty well. It's not coming off. Holds just as well, if not better, than the stock ender bed. So if you guys want to print some high temp filament and you want to not deal with glue stick like I have used glass before, I absolutely do not like using glass on my printer. A lot of people do like using glass. I personally don't like it. It's impossible to get things to stick. You have to use a glue stick, hairspray, ABS glue, some type of adhesion to get your print to stick. And with this PEI sheet, like I said, now I have not done ABS yet or nylon or carbon fiber or PLA wood or anything. P I haven't done PLA plus. All I've done tested so far with this is PLA. Yeah, I will do updates in the future. If I do anything else and end up having issues with this, I will update it. But for now, I'm pretty happy with this bed. All right guys, so that's it for that video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit like, please subscribe. And if you'll notice back behind me here, I have a possibly another video coming up here real soon. Hopefully gonna be adding a second printer dedicated for ABS. And also probably to even maybe leave stock so I can just mod the shit out of this one and compare mods between see what makes it print better what makes it print worse, what actually helps, what actually doesn't. So till next time, you guys take it easy, keep on printing.